Hey folks, it's Dead Jack here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. So the night was not completely uneventful. I will cut to that real quick so you guys can see what happened. Whoa, whoa, hey! Ah! You were not invited into my house, you asshole! So yeah, that happened. <laughs> Made myself laughed afterward just because I reacted so angrily. So, a couple things. My guy is thirsty, so I cannot remember. Oh yeah, there's snow over there. So I just need some wood for the fire. And then I can make boiled water and drink. I'm going to definitely go visit the trader today. So he can see the trader's place. Um, I may save um working on the house like finishing up the wood frames uh for maybe night question mark i don't know we'll see i'm not gonna try and work too too much on that this video though i'm gonna try and do a little bit more exploring if i can oh come on there we go get the tree now get the tree now i'm gonna go get some snow i think i just need to hit the snow is all it is uh, but in case I, you know, um, oh, 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 wait, no, 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 no. I was about to say one thing and then remembered a more important thing. So hang on. Uh, first thing, I mentioned how when I got this game, it was um, $25 on Steam. It's actually on sale on Steam right now. Uh, I think for $8 as of me recording this. Um, so it is not as expensive for you guys as it was for me if you want to get this game now um i would highly recommend it even if it were still 25 dollars, i would say get the game it is a really fun game to have so definitely definitely get the game um the first parts yeah they're boring but as days go by and you're getting more set up and you're, you know, getting more things and the zombies are getting tougher and the newer types of zombies show up. Um, it gets more interesting. Like the one I saw last night, the one that was in that clip, you noticed that was not a normal looking zombie. I was actually kind of surprised to run into one of those already because when I've played this before, those didn't show up till way later and i mean way later i see you off to the left there going up near my house how dare you i'm being risky for no reason but that's okay hiya get off of my yard there we go get a little more wood and then i will go get my water and go see the trader Oh, jeez. My guy is so tired because he's thirsty. And you can see the infection has gotten worse. I'm up at... <clears throat> <coughs> ah, excuse me. I'm up at 12.2% now. So it has increased a good bit since the night started. And that's going to keep getting worse till it eventually starts messing with my stats. Oh my god, my guy is so thirsty. He can't swing his axe for longer than a couple seconds. Ah, uh, there's the house. Doesn't look too bad from out here. I'll fix it up as we go. Add a window or two. Eh. Uh, come on. Grr. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Okay. Jeez. Oh, also, I think I figured out what I was doing wrong here. So I need this for the stairs. I put it here, and then I think it's I hold this button. Shape. Stairs with railing. Can I see it? All right, there we go. Perfect. There we go. That's what I was trying to do before, and just couldn't do it before. And then let me make logs, because the logs do better um, at burning longer. 
go ahead and get this on here. Boink. And then... So I can get murky water from the snowballs. And then I can turn that into boiled water. Go there then. Get me storage set up. Oh, that's what I think is the front. I'm going to assume that's the front. Put in some of this stuff that I don't necessarily need to be carrying with me right now. Um, that too. I will get more organized with it as I go. That, no, no, not crossbow. I was about to say, hang on, something's not right here. I don't need crossbow. I need bow. There we go. Now I should be able to have some water, and now I got some arrows again. Awesome. This is what I needed. And then just to complete the the mission up there, I'll go to the trader. I don't think I'll do a mission for him just yet. Um, I need to kind of focus on finishing up the house a bit. But I can still... Um, at least go ahead and get that out of the way. Do, 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 do. There we go. Don't know if that's how many I need to finish up this house, but or the roof, I mean. We will see. Doink, doink, doink. There we go. It's actually a little bit extra, but I'm gonna hold on to those just because I know I'm gonna need to to mess with them at some point. There we go. And there we go. Water. Actually, let me go ahead and grab the snow back out and go ahead and get the murky water going again. I only have one glass jar. I desperately need more glass jars. Well, it's okay. I can do it when I get back. Not a big deal. I hear you. I'll muss you up. Stay away from my house. Perfect. <laughs> Two good headshots and he's done. I'm definitely going to scavenge some of these houses while I'm on my way too. Just because um, I need more supplies. I, I only have one glass jar for water. That is not enough for water. Nowhere near enough. So I am going to be keeping my eye out for things to scavenge while I'm on the way. Looks like someone tried to de defend that house a little bit. Need that stone. Admittedly, this is this would be, you know, minus the zombie apocalypse, a beautiful place to live. It's kind of weird how there's a line of snow over there, but that's okay. I'm not going to question that too much. Actually, it looks like... Let me just go to the trader first. It's not that far. Just to get that out of the way. And then I will scavenge places on my way back. Oh, I can't run very far. Do you mind? Don't breathe down my neck like that. And if you haven't played this game before, the trader's locations are always really cool. They're always, like, really well made, really well fortified. Um, neither you nor the zombies can damage them, but you can't stay there overnight. I tried to be sneaky and try that. Can't stay there overnight. Ah. Ah. There we go. Did I see a bird's nest? Could use the eggs. Nope. Okay. Didn't see it. I probably missed a couple on my way here, but that's okay. No big deal. See a cabin over there. That would be a good place to start. Sometimes in the trader's areas, too, there's some stuff for you to loot. 
I wonder which trader I got. Some are nice and some are jerks. We'll just have to see which one I got. Oh, perfect. I know who this is. I think this is um, the doctor. It is. For sore eyes. Yeah, what well, so are you. Give me meds. I have an infection. <laughs> it's probably way too expensive. You don't even have what I need. And I'm broke anyway, so I suppose it doesn't matter. That's okay. But yeah, see, you can buy all kinds of stuff here that just make your life so much easier. So incredibly easier. Uh, poppin' pills might have what you were looking for. That's a good point. They might. And see, that's the sound it makes when something tries to damage the the trader's outpost. It doesn't actually allow anything to do any damage. Where are you? There you are. Bah! Bah! Stop being annoying. I'm trying to talk to people. I don't think I can pick up the food either, can I? Nope. That's yeah, okay. I will search through and see what I can find. I know I don't... Yeah, same problem. No money. Painkillers. Very nice. Forge schematic. I already have that, so I could actually probably sell that to you for a little bit of money. Let's see what's in here. This I don't have, so I will get the schematic for that. Oh my god, again? Do you mind? What is it with you guys? Let me learn things in peace. Jeez. Oop, wait. And these are just some of the workstations you can eventually build. Well, that's nice. I can appreciate that. Well, okay, I don't recognize that symbol. Does that just tell me this is where the trader is? Hello, traveler. Yeah, What's that's exactly like? what it's telling me. Okay, I'll sell that. And I don't know that I really want to sell anything else. Really wish you had what I needed to deal with the infection, though. It's It's not good right now. Um, I cannot afford any of that. I can afford the eggs. So that's not bad. Oh, man. It's, it's just trying to figure out what things can even be helpful right now. I don't know. Feathers. Feathers are definitely helpful. I will take lots of feathers. Awesome. Thanks for the business. Thank you, because with the feathers, I can make lots and lots of arrows and not have to get so close to things and therefore not get all these, you know, infections and deep lacerations and things like that. Let me see. Let me repair my club. So I'm going to need it to bash more people I know. Okay, that still counts as hers. Even though I'm this far away. Let's see. Let me get more arrows. Hello. Howdy, neighbor. I'm here for your stuff. Where are you? I hear wood breaking, but I don't see... Hey, has anyone told you there's a tree in your house? Are you in there? Oh, you're in there. Take that. Oh, nope. Didn't jump. Ha! You're a stubborn one. Oop, oop. I'm tired. I'm tired. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Ah. Hey. Yeah. Good lord. Go down. Eh. <sighs> Ow. There we go. Chase. Why did I not jump when I tried to jump a second ago? Me. Jump. There we go. Do you got any meds in here? 
Oh, but you've got empty jars. I'll use that for scrap. Murky water. I can turn that into boiled water. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, still not what I need. Darn it. Ugh. Okay, I do need some of that for eventually making a farm plot, so. As gross as that is, I will take all the gloop out of that. Is there a basement? No, there's not a basement. Or at least it doesn't look like it. Hello? Anyone in there? I guess not. Ooh. Clothes? Okay. I will put that on later. Just makes me have less editing to do if I change clothes later. Because then my Steam name is in there, and I don't want to have to keep covering the Steam name over and over and over again. More water! Yes! Ooh, wrench. Very nice. And you can already see the symbol down there for the infection has already um, turned orange. So it's getting worse. It is getting much worse. Alright, I'll just have to remind myself I am going to... Wait, no. Nope, never mind. It's there no matter what. Okay, two places I have to cover up the Steam name. Um, no, wait. It's back here. Three places I have to cover up the Steam name. Uh, stamina regeneration minus 25%. So, yeah. It's already affecting my stats. Here I was just saying how I'm trying to create a little less editing work for me, and then I mess up and make it so that I have to edit in several places. <laughs> okay. Not an amazing amount of helpful things in that house, but the water is helpful. I do need the water. And that is one thing about this, is you don't really know which houses are going to be really helpful. You might get into a house and it'd be like that, where you get one or two things that are kind of helpful, but nothing amazing. But you could also get into a house that's got guns in it and lots of ammo. So you, you never really know. Can't search the car. That's okay. Ooh. Are you okay? Please calm down. <laughs> little glitchy there, huh? Hello? Oh, that's metal. That's going to take me forever to get through with an axe. If I can find... Oh, that's metal too. This house is quite glitchy, isn't it? No. Okay. Bunch of metal there. I'm, I'm going to have to wait to come back for that later. I don't have to deal with you, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to go over here, and you can leave me alone. That's a win-win for everybody. Well, mostly me. There we go. And that's one thing I will admit. game's a little unrealistic. I should be able to pick up the backpack and have more carrying space. But that's okay. It does a lot of other things right, so I will forgive it. Ooh, hammer. Very nice. Hmm... That means I've got two of the harder things for getting a... Ah, I need a forge. Mm. Okay, if I can make a forge, then I'm actually not too far off from being able to make a, uh, a workbench. <laughs> I can talk. What are you talking about? Okay, cool. Can I get more of that? Brass I don't need right now. Money I need. Alright. Oh, locked. Why is everything locked? People act like the world's in danger or something. Ooh. That's some thumpy music, isn't it? Huh. There's more than one. hey -ya! Ooh, there's a few. There we go.
I'm gonna need those arrows back. Just letting you know. Oof. It's intense. It's intense. There we go. Music, calm down a little bit. Whoo. Three on one when you have an infection. Yes. Oh, it won't completely cure it. Okay, I'm going to hold on to it. Because I don't want to use it unless I have enough antibiotics to actually cure my infection. So that then, that way later, if I die, um, I can still have the antibiotics. And, um, that's what I'm hearing. I can still use the antibiotics later for a different infection. I don't trust you. Okay, I guess you are dead. Stupid metal. There we go. Now I can get through, no problem. Knock, knock. Hello. I have no stamina. Oh, come on. You're only hungry and sick. What's wrong with you? No, I can't search this? Okay. Whoop. Oh, man. Having to use that more since I'm tired. Oh, yeah. I didn't go get my arrows from this guy. Ah, oh, darn it. Ah, oh, well, that's all right. I've still got seven. It's okay. It's all right. I leveled up. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Where is the kitchen? I am hungry and out of food. Who wants some? Oh, that clearly should have been a headshot. Stop being stubborn. Okay, here we are. Kitchen. Ah, pears. There we go. Take the coffee, because that can give me more glass jars later. Fish taco recipe. Yes, please. What are you? Grandpa's learning elixir. All right. Vegetable stew. Cooking pot. Man, I'm getting all kinds of good stuff here. Um, let's see. Uh, it's okay. I'll be I'll be a little over encumbered for now. It's all right. I don't mind. More coffee. Very nice. All right. Learn some helpful food recipes there. I will totally take that. My guy's never had the fish tacos. Whoop. Don't you scare me like that. <sighs> Woo, headshot. There we go. You want it? There we go. I was about to say, I know I got you with at least one. Shotgun. I'll take the bandolier. Nerdy glasses. That's perfect. Ooh, wait. Sewing kit. Okay, hang on. I need the sewing kit for the laceration. Nice. Very nice. Okay, me, gonna have to block the Steam name again. Shirt, nerdy glasses, leather duster. Yeah, I look lame. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else? I'm sure there's more. Ooh, wait, toilet. Can get water from toilet. You know you've fallen far in the world when you're having to get your your water from a toilet. Cool. 
All helpful items. You can go away. I don't need you anymore. After a while, all the plant fiber stuff is not that helpful. Ooh, bookcase. Okay. I, there's no way I'm going to be able to build any parts to a truck anytime soon, but... Oh, wait. I can actually just reach through. Scrap that. There's something here. A purse. Sure, I'll eat that. Come here. There we go. Alright, alright. We're surviving. Not too bad. I'm getting better with my bow again, too. Getting my headshots. Pumpkin bread, yes! Ooh, I need that for a farm plot, too. These are a lot of helpful things, and I'm gonna need to run back to my house to store it. Ooh, more? Yes, more. Cool. I wonder if that's enough. Okay, that's enough rotting flesh, but I need more of the nitrate powder. Um, excuse me? Oh, there you are. Do you mind? I'm trying to do things. Go away. By go away, I mean die. <laughs> Tread or not treadmill. Bicycle. Stationary bike. That's what it was I was looking for. Iron breaker. Okay. The bookshelves are underrated. You know, you can find some awesome stuff in there. Really make your life a lot easier. No, really nothing useful here. Okay. All right. I'm going to count that as a win. Which direction's my house? There we go. Ooh, that's a big boy over there. I'm going to go around the big boy. Can be can be a good bit harder to kill. Give me that stone. Or stone. I'm just going to be going this way. Gathering more stones. Actually, I think I see a thing. I think that rock up there has got the nitrate powder I need. Eggs. Yeah. Feathers are nice, too, but the eggs are always helpful. Later on, they're a lot better for other recipes. Oop, come. Stone. Stone. There we go. <laughs> Sass me. Okay, I need something here, so you're in my way. There we go. Okay, do you have what I need? You do have what I need. Perfect. How many do I need? Five more. I'm just going to get a little bit more while I'm here. Might as well. Oh, come on. Alright, you know what? Fine. Good enough. I know you're there. I know where you are. My people will call your people. I'll be right back. Stone. So what that does is I can get farm plots. And I can grow my own food. And eventually that'll make it to where I don't have to go out scavenging for food to survive. Which makes things easier on me you know there's there's a ton to worry about early in this game do i have enough food do i have enough water you know am i going to survive this up close encounter with a zombie the more of those things you can kind of eliminate and not have to worry about the better i gotta get a little better at my headshots here there we go So for, you know, for me, being able to kind of narrow down some things is definitely a good goal here. Let me make some more arrows. That's the wrong tab. Not that many. Go over to there. There we go. 
Someone made a creepy sound there a second ago. I did not much appreciate that. So yeah, I think the infection is definitely going to get <laughs> definitely going to get me at some point. No doubt about it. Cuz now we're getting to the point where I'm going to need full-blown antibiotics to survive. And the doctor back there mentioned popping pills, which is a a store in this game that usually has medical supplies, but I am not seeing one near me. So that's not good. Repair that that home invasion I got. Sweet. Alright. Nice. Now let me get my meat here. Oh, and the eggs. I can. That's right. I can make boiled eggs. I gotta remember that. Man, I needed to scrap you. Dude. Eh, 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 eh. Eh, eh, that needs to go on there. Ah, I have so many things. I'm going to put you two down in the corner. Just because you're helpful for things later. Do I have what I need for a shovel? Where? Hang on. Shovel. Okay, I just need plant fibers. Which I have right here. Where? Oh, wait, tools. There we go. And that will let me get everything I need. Turn off for a second. You're not going to let me do this. Okay, hang on. Let me cancel these. So that I can put that there. I can go... Oh, I don't know how to make that yet. Okay, well, that's fine. That... Um, let me go... Get the water next. I'll hold up on the murky water for a second, though, because that's going to take a bit. Okay. Um, let me stick that in there. That in there. That too. That too. Okay. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So farm plot. No. Where is it? Okay, maybe it is here. There it is. Farm plot. So I just need the clay soil now. And I've got a farm plot. I don't have any seeds to plant in it yet, but that's okay. Let me go off this way. What do you have? Go. Cool. Okay. Now it's just dig. Luckily it doesn't take too much to get a hundred clay. I seem to remember it goes by kind of fast. Out of stamina again, jeez. Oh, man. I tell you what, before the zombie apocalypse, my guy needed to exercise some more. He really did. Just in, in desperate need of more exercise. <laughs> It's not something, though, you know, it's, imagine you're in school and your gym teacher is just like, you never know when the zombie apocalypse will happen. You better be able to do all this running. <laughs> Get parents calling the school. What are you trying to tell our kids? Jeez. <laughs> but see, in this world, that teacher would have just been a, you know, genius. They would have known. Oh, come on. I'm at 90. I suppose that's how it would, would go, really, you know? 
Um, if the zombie apocalypse happened, suddenly all those people that you were calling crazy, they had no idea what they were talking about. Well, now they look pretty smart. What was it? It was the it was a joke that came out with um, The Walking Dead. Something like, everyone makes fun of rednecks until the zombie apocalypse starts. Which, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure people would still make fun of rednecks even then. There we go. Lots of water. Give me a little bit more food here and I should be perfectly fine. And I want to say it's when you're in like a real life survival situation. I think it was... I think it's water's the most important, then sh then food, then shelter. It might be water, shelter, food. I remember water was one because you can survive so much longer with water but not food than you can with food but not water. Okay, let's see. I kind of want to put my farm a little bit away from my house. Just so that, you know, if I get attacked, they're less likely to go after my plants. Put it a little over here. That's, that's a good bit of distance. So now when I get a seed, I can plant something in that and then it'll just grow and I can constantly harvest that. And that will make my life much easier. Let me go ahead and try and get some more wood to finish up my house. Awesome. Very cool. Now I've got food, water, everything. Make my life considerably easier. At least for now. Sometimes that food does not... The food and water does not last as long as you would wish it to. So, tomorrow in the game there's going to be an airdrop. Which, what that is, there's a plane that goes overhead. Somewhere around here that drops... Uh, a box full of just supplies. I'm going to go for that tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't land too far away. Um, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to just keep scrounging through houses. And try and um, get enough food and water and supplies and things that I need. So that I can eventually start... You know, making my forge, making, and then getting to the workbench. Um, because it's going to be so handy to have a workbench this early in the playthrough. Um, and then I can start doing submissions from the trader and making money. And then I can full on start, you know, buying, selling, trading, doing jobs that, you know, are, are varying degrees of dangerous for me. Um, because sometimes, you know, when you're, let me let my guy catch his breath here. Sometimes when you're starting out, all it is is just like, hey, clear that house, which is not that bad. But then it kind of progresses up more and more where it's like, okay, you know, um, clear, clear that house, but there's three times as many zombies in it as normal. Or sometimes it's like clear out this restaurant is what it bumps up to or clear out this gas station. And then eventually it gets to where it's like, clear out the hospital. And if you think about just how many zombies can be in a hospital, that should kind of help you get an idea of how crazy these missions can get. But then you end up making so much money. The harder it is, the more money you make. And um, the more stuff you can buy with it. Let me replant some of these trees. That way, I just always have to only leave my front yard for trees. Boink. There we go. And get this one over here. 
Now, hopefully I'm getting enough wood I can finish up building. And I can have some light at night. Because it it's nice later in the game to actually be able to have some light and see what you're doing. And later on, I'll probably actually be able to show some things I'm doing at night. Because things I'm doing at night will actually, you know, be interesting. Instead of me just um, <laughs> huddled down in the dark waiting for it to pass by. Because I'll actually have walls that, you know, block out the light and sound. And I can work on the forge and workbench and be building things. Give me a fry or boiled egg. But I have to finish the roof first. Oh, stuff for nitrate powder right here. Awesome. So I really will not have to go very far at all. Get some more stones. We'll not have to go very far at all to get more farm plots. Come on, give me more. It's going to be nice when I get like a pickaxe. And then it's a lot easier to get through rock and metal. Really early in the game, you do always have that feeling of, man, I just do not have the stuff I need. <laughs> I just do not have it. Where's the... There's the snow. Right. Okay. Get some more murky water. No, nope, murky water going. There we go. And I can go ahead and start finishing the roof. Why am I doing this weird? I'm just going to go in twos, because for some reason that's how I decided to do this. I don't know why. I would say I don't make the rules, but I kind of do. I just went rogue here. I don't know why. Wait, no. I wonder how much like this would bother people. And then I just leave that there. I'm sure... <laughs> There's probably some people cussing me out for that. That's okay. I deserve it. It's fine. Especially since now I'm going to end up working perfectly around it this whole time. <laughs> Here we go. I'm thinking I'm going to have enough wood to finish the roof. So that in the night, I will actually be able to have a little fire going. Because I've got animal fat to make candles with. And those work better than the torch. I usually save torches for, like, blood moon nights. Um, and then have candles for just the, the regular... Um, Regular old nights. Because the torches, you know, like I was mentioning in the last video, that they're attracted to flickering. Well, a torch flickers so much more. Eh, let me turn that back on, actually. A torch flickers so much more than a candle does. Um, when I've played this before, I've had like 10 candles going inside a structure and zombies outside don't notice a thing. I don't know how if they would notice 10 torches, but I just know that the candles work out just fine. I'm going to save getting to that one for like last just to have some fun with this. Because I know there's going to be at least one person watching this that sees that I've done that. And they're just like, why? Why would you do this? Why are you this way? The honest answer is I don't know why I'm this way. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes in life, you must create your own entertainment. And I'm very good at that. 
Honestly, this is probably bothering them too. How I'm just kind of haphazardly going around doing this. All right, I'm, I'll quit. I'll quit. I'm just going to get this now. Leveled up again. I have no idea what I'm going to put the points on. There we go. Roof is done. Awesome. Now let's see. Where's the animal fat? This is why I need to get more organized. There we go. I eventually get to where I have multiple chests and there there's certain there's only certain things in certain chests. Plant fiber. How did I end up with so much plant fiber? Was I just going around beating the crap out of a bunch of plants in the last episode? There we go. How's my wood doing? Ah, eh, there's no way I'm going to have enough to finish this. That's okay, though. I got the important one down. There we go. I got the roof, so that, that was the main thing I needed. I just realized it looked like I was in the middle of doing something here. I'm going to finish that. I have messed with people with OCD enough in this video. I don't need to mess with them anymore. I will get as much of this floor done as I can. Because there's only two hours left till nightfall. So I can take the extra time to get some wood and get this done. So admittedly, nothing too crazy yet. I had to deal with a few zombies. But haven't had that moment yet where it's like I round a corner and there's three of them right on top of me. Have not had that just yet. I know it's coming, but I haven't had it yet. It's food. I know. I know. Food's important. I am aware I need to eat. Now what's interesting is I, I'm now left to wonder what is going to kill me first the infection or a zombie i don't know which one is going to kill me first i know one of them will i don't think i'm going to find an antibiotic and just get a cured infection not this early in the game it was really bad luck i got an infection literally on day one um so Something's going to kill me. It's either going to be the infection or a zombie. Don't know which. Neither will surprise me. I remember actually the very first time I played through this game. I had that kind of bad luck then too where I got an infection. I think it was actually on day two. And my character's stats just started getting messed with so bad. Um from the infection and it was not killing me that I remember I just went and jumped into a lake. <laughs> I, I, I put everything in the chest. Oops, sorry, something bumped my mic there. I um, put everything into a chest and then just ran out and jumped in the lake and just stayed there till I drowned <laughs> so I could respawn and not have such messed up stats. Because it was something like my stamina was reduced and wasn't regenerating. I'm already feeling the frustration of the stamina regen being messed with. But, you know, you can imagine the stamina even being cut on top of that. Oh, uh, it was making everything annoying. Come on. There we go. Oh. See if I can finish the floor. It's actually not a bad little cabin, honestly. And I like to do this. I've done some playthroughs where I set up in a house. And that's cool and all. But it's a little bit easier for me to work with when it's kind of a house I've built with the materials I craft and everything. 
does make it a little bit easier later on when there's blood moons to repair everything. I did not need to chop down two trees for this, but that's okay. Can I upgrade the door? I can. Nice. Got some metal on the door now. Alright, and I know I can upgrade... Can I upgrade the stairs? No, I need I need forged metal for that. I like to upgrade the corners first, just because I can't reach them from the inside. And then that, you know, later on in the game, that'll let me, when I'm able to move around a little bit at night, once I have my fence up and some traps up, I can upgrade the house in the middle of the night. Because that's something else I eventually do is now that, you know, the house is up, I'm upgrading the corners and then I'm probably going to wait till I get my fence. And then when the fence is up, I'll upgrade the house some more. Because I like to make it to where, you know, some zombies can just get, you know, pushed away from my house by a fence. Because they just bump into it but don't hear anything, so they just try and walk around it. That's kind of what I like to have happen. Okay, so here near the end of the video, I'm going to have to make myself do some editing again. But I'm going to skip all the way over here. Let me do this. Can I actually just click? I can click. Oh, I'm going to have to remember that in the next video. That way I don't have to do any editing whatsoever. Two points available. Because, yeah, that's, that's six now. So I will now be an electrician, can craft generators, build advanced base defense system like electric fences and blade traps craft military fiber that's new that wasn't part of this before gain experience from electrical trap kills efficient craftsmen all forge recipes cost less crafting forged steel and electrical devices cost less as much as i want to do that right now i don't even have the forge up so as much as i want to do that i don't think i will I know I do want to get better with the bow. That's how I usually survive in this game. So Many start on the path of ranger, but few can reach it. Craft quality two poor bows. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do it. And then I'll bump my agility. I'll have to bump it again before I can do better. So now let me see. There we go. So now if I go to bow, yeah, see, now it's got a two instead of a one like I have down here. I can actually go ahead and make that and have a better bow. They'll usually do more damage um, and last longer than the other ones. So the more you level them up, the better. That's accidentally ominous. I didn't mean for the candles to create that kind of lighting. Okay, so that's all the time I've got for this video. Um, I'm definitely going to keep playing this game because the longer I play it, the more intense it gets, the more interesting it gets. We're doing good. The house is done. We're starting to get a supply of food and water going, but we still need to keep scavenging, and eventually this infection is going to kill me. Or a zombie will. Don't know, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So, again, this game is on sale. It's like $8.00. To get this game. And this is a really awesome game. I haven't even touched all the things they've put into it yet. So really fun game. If you're into zombie apocalypse games. This is your thing. So I'm going to put a link to the game down in the description below. Remember to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys later.